Salam, uh, you just threw your game against Hans Seemann. The game ended quite quickly, but not without some adventures. Tell us a bit about what happened. Yeah, I had a uh, few ideas. I was actually inspired by Firuzia game yesterday. Uh, he won against Parham in this line. And I thought, why not? So I started checking. And uh, actually, I messed up uh, the move order. Um, and I was hoping that he wouldn't pay attention. And he did not. Actually, I, after the game, I was telling him that uh, I played rook b1. Instead, my rook should be on e1. And I have seen why it's bad during the game. Luckily, he played uh, bishop f5 and instead of king f8, which it was. Uh, I was so scared <laughs> that I would see it on the board. And after bishop f5, I got ambitious because um, compared to the other lines with the rook on b1. So now white actually has uh, the the good difference. Yeah? But I couldn't uh, see why, uh, how to do it, how to use it. I was spending a lot of time and... Uh, yeah, the the problem is uh, it looks very promising for white, but black has the long term uh, factors. So if he stabilizes his king, he has good structure, and uh, yeah, it could go. Then it could be dangerous for white if I'm not uh, finding concrete solutions, and I did not. So I decided, okay, let's make a draw. Yeah, in the end, uh, the game ended with this move repetition. Was there any way for either of you to avoid it, or was it unavoidable in the end? Yeah, I thought, um, no, I was trying to avoid in my calculation, but I didn't see how exactly I could, at least uh, if I want to play without risk. And uh, I don't think black had choice. Let's come back to that moment when you played rook b1. I overheard you guys, you said, you know, I stepped away from the board so you couldn't see uh, my face. Is that a strategy in general? When you realize you've made a mistake, you prefer for them not yeah, to see you? I think, uh, yeah, sometimes you can give your opponent hints if you don't like your position or something went wrong. And if you are far, he's in his own world, in his in his mind. So I, I was just far so that I don't signal anything. And well, I had to come back at some <laughs> point, you know, I had to come, pa come Did back. Did you come back before he made his move no, or after? Actually, the point is he had to make, this was, I realized before the next move. So I had to sit for one more move and uh, show nothing. And he played quite fast. Yeah, so it was just lucky for me. You're on two uh, out of three. How satisfied are you overall? It's still very early stages, but so far. Very satisfied after such a lucky <laughs> lucky draw. Uh, yeah, yeah, so far so good. We've also seen you uh, around, you know, analyzing a bit with the other players in our last interview you mentioned. Uh, you're always eager to learn. Um, out of the other games that have been played here, do you have a favorite so far? Favorite? Mm, yeah, it's I, I actually watched all the games. I did not analyze anything deeply. Yesterday, I think Gukesh played, uh, which looked to me like a very complicated uh, game. And uh, it seems like I, I, I briefly checked with the computer and everything was accurate. I don't know how difficult, easy it was, but uh, from outside, it looked like uh, convincing uh, game so yeah. i was impressed it was a spectacular ga game and finally tomorrow we play uh, mustafa yilmaz have do you have much experience uh, playing him before yeah i just suddenly i remember our game from 2009 <laughs> <laughs> we were playing under uh, 18 and i won that game i don't know if we played uh, any other games in between but that uh, the game uh, i still remember you remember it for what? For the result or for how it went? Actually, yeah, for because I won and uh, because it was a nice mate at the end in the end game. Okay, not uh, something extraordinary, but uh, it was cute. So next year, the 15-year anniversary <laughs> of playing Mustafa again. Salam, thank you so much and good luck. Thank you.